Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Had to get out and shoot some 12 gauge today and I have a shotgun that you probably haven't seen yet. Perhaps if you're into three gun, you may know about the Savage Renegade. This is a competition model. It looks cool, it's feature loaded, it comes at a cost. This is not mine. I'm out at Rider's Range and this is Rider's shotgun. Happy to, to feature it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few shots and we'll talk more about it and see if the Savage Renegade is of interest to you. All right, that was pretty smooth. And you will notice with most semi-auto shotguns, they are a lot easier on the shoulder and that certainly was. That was seven and a half inch, or seven and a half shot target loads. But let's check out this Renegade. And once again, made for three gunners. The stock has adjustments both with the recoil pads and the cheek risers, three of each to custom fit your length of pull and how high you want your cheek to sit on there. I think the red looks cool. It has an oversized bolt charger right there, a thumb safety right on the trigger guard. Trigger guard looks cool, but it does have a cross bolt safety right there. Drilled and tapped for a optic. I'm really not a fan of optics on shotguns. I know some people have them. It just has never been my thing. 24 inch barrel, comes with three chokes. You can see the fiber optic front sight. It's uh, triangular. So you sit that right on top of the serrated vent rib barrel and it actually aligns quite well. Huge barrel clamp right there. And once again, the mag Z tube is red. Offsets with the receiver. Looks kind of cool. It's nine plus one two and three quarter inch. I mentioned it comes with three chokes. Installed now is a light modified. And one more thing about the barrel is that it is fluted. You can see it's a fluted barrel. So it is, as I mentioned, feature loaded, but also it comes at a cost, a pretty heavy cost. The MSRP on this is $2,070. Now I know I just lost some people right there because they said, well, you lost me at the MSRP. I understand that. But we also have to understand that whether it's competition shooting rifles, which is common to be 3K plus, not even including the optic, shotguns are expensive. And of course the handguns are always expensive with some of the premier optics on there. So this is no different. I also have my Remington V3 Tactical. I want to check out the difference in, in recoil primarily. And also, you know, if there are any great shooting impressions. I love the V3 Tactical. I've often said it's my favorite shotgun. This is really nice. I don't know if I would pay that much for it. Well, actually I can answer that right now. No, and that's why I'm borrowing it. But, it, you know, with, with the first four shots, it certainly was easy on the shoulder. Let me go ahead and do that and we'll talk more about the Renegade. Savage introduced the Renegade line back in 2020. This gun here, the competition model, was released in 21. It's a fairly new firearm from Savage. And the street price on this, you know, I told you the MSRP is street price right around $1,800, $1,900. It also has a, a tapered an oversized loading gate makes it easy to throw these very cheap and inexpensive loads in here. But overall, it, it, it looks cool. The forend is actually pretty cool. Let me show you that because you can see that it has some texturing on there. All right, so you, you grip on there, it's not gonna slip away from you, or it shouldn't. But let's go ahead and take a few more shots with this. Neat looking shotgun. I think the red magazine tube looks super cool. All right, and I can see why a three gunner would enjoy this. Let me go ahead and grab the V3 Tactical and we'll do a recoil comparison. This is my Remington V3 Tactical. It's very different. Once again, it's called the V3 Tactical because it's more of a tactical shotgun. It has an 18 and a half inch barrel. It's also serrated and, and vented 
It, it has a large magazine tube, huge barrel clamp on there, but the Versamax system decreases the recoil substantially. I featured this quite a bit. People have said, I'd love to get my hands on, on one of those. And I understand when they came out with this, I really wanted it. I was fortunate enough to get it. But if you do a search now, man, you can't find these anywhere. So I'm not sure where Remington is on the process. But what I'm going to do now is take four shots with that same seven and a half shot target load. And I'm going to do the same with the Renegade competition, and we'll slow slow down the video and see if you notice any recoil difference. Here we go. Remington V3 Tactical. Here we have the Savage Renegade competition. When you handle both these shotguns side by side, it's clear that this is a heavier shotgun, therefore the recoil should be a little less, but We'll see. I'm going to slow down the video once again. Same loads, same distance, even though you can't see that. It is. Not that that <laughs> really matters, but here we go. All right. So the Savage Renegade, interesting name, Renegade, bolt release right there already mentioned oversized charger but it's a three gunner it's a competition hence its name I think the the fluted barrel with the red magazine tube nine plus one two and three quarter I think that looks super cool as well as the red choke right there but overall a shotgun that is expensive it shoots very nice but would you pay that much for, for this? If you're a three gunner, would you do that? All right, I think I have 10 rounds loaded up here. I'm gonna shoot that silhouette as fast as I can, and we'll see how the Renegade handles it. Woo! And a little warm here, which is good, because it's cold out here. But this is a nice shotgun. Comes at a cost. But good things are seldom cheap. Cheap things are seldom good. But I think it is a, a very nice shotgun. And I certainly enjoyed it. And happy to feature it on Rider's Range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And... You guys be safe.